try this again. Um, hey guys, it's Jen here from Lula Road by Jennifer and Ellen. Um, today I wanted to do a video on the Cassie. She is one of the first pieces that I got from LuLaRoe. I obviously, um, first pair was the leggings. That's what, you know, attracted me to LuLaRoe. And then I discovered the Cassie, which is the pencil skirt. Um, and it was one of those pieces that I tried on and I fell in love. And one of the things that I love about the Cassie is that it is so versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Um, it's really one of those pieces that you can wear for any occasion. So what I wanted to do today was not only show you different ways that you can wear um, the Cassie, but I also wanted to show you different ways that you can style her. Um, and you know how you can take her from um, daytime just running errands with your kids to going to a black tie affair. So I'm going to show you different ways that you can style it and different ways that you can wear, um, wear your Cassie. Um, and as a lot of you know, I am a huge fashion junkie. Um, I love fashion week. I love keeping up on the trends. It's just, um, something I love to do. So I'm rocking one of the new trends for fall and I wanted to show you, it's not something that you guys should be afraid of. Um, but vampy goth lips are going to be all over the place, um, fall and winter. And if you are afraid of black, which, you know, black is a little harsh sometimes, go with a deep plum. Um, or a really dark purple um, and that way you can kind of get the look without being so dramatic um, but I just wanted to show you I'm rocking the dark lips today um, and it's one of those things try it you may like it um, so what I'm gonna do as you can see right now I am wearing the Cassie with the Julia which is one of my favorite go-to ways to wear the Cassie um, I I would say probably five times out of ten I'm wearing a Julia with my Cassie um, so this is, you know, it's one of the simple ways that you can wear it. I'm going to slip off real quick and I'm going to, um, slip into a tank top and show you different ways that you can wear the Cassie. Okay. So all I did now is I took off the Julia and I'm wearing a tank top. Here's your basic way that you can wear your Cassie. I'm wearing it low on my hips. Um, if you want to, it has that yoga like waistband, so you can always fold it down um, if you want to shorten the length a little bit. If you just want to give it, you know, you don't really see it so much with this print because it's a crazy geometric print, but some of the other prints when you fold it down, it'll give it a different look because of the way the pattern is. Um, so you can always fold it down. Um, and one of the other ways you can do it, which again is one of those ways I showed you with the maxi, is you can pull it up right under your bust line and what it's going to do is it's going to give the effect of it you know it's like that empire cut and here it almost gives the look like i'm wearing a tank top style dress um and if you want to add a little extra um to it you can go ahead and you know i meant to pull i have a red belt and i meant to pull it before i started the video and i forgot because the color with this would be awesome um but here you can see just by adding a belt um, it gives it a completely different look. So I went from a little bit more casual, something maybe I could wear to work by putting on a, you know, a little, a Lindsay or, you know, a blazer. Um, and all I did was pull it up at a belt and now I'm ready to go out, um, for drinks or for dinner after work or on a date night. Um, so, you know, you can kind of see just by wearing it a different way, it'll give it a totally different, um, a totally different feel. So one of the other ways that you can wear the... Cassie as as a shirt. So what I'm gonna do, one second, I'm going to um, slip on a maxi for this. And I all I'm gonna do is I pulled up my Cassie as a shirt. So all I did here was I just pulled it up. So you could do this with I'm obviously wearing the maxi now. You could do this with another Cassie. You could do this with an um, Azure. You could, I mean, you can really do this with any skirts that you have. And you can see, I mean, how cute is Sorry about that, I got a phone call. Um, so again, all you really need to do is just throw in a skirt and it's gonna turn it into a tube top. If you are not crazy about your shoulders hanging out, um, you could do something as simple as just throwing on throwing on a jean jacket 
or if you had a little blazer, or if you had a Lindsay, um, you know, any of those kind of things you can just throw on um, if you don't want your um, shoulders out. You can also, you know, amp it up a little bit just by throwing on a belt. And it's just a different look, a different way to wear the, um, a different way to wear the Cassie. Um, and you know, it can just give you, um, just, if you just want a, a, a different look than just wearing it like this, I happen to think that this is very pretty and I would, you know, wear it like this with, without a belt. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to take one of my Cassie's, I'm going to slip on a black and it has a little bit of gold. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see it has a little bit of like a gold shimmer to it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn this Cassie into an outfit for um, a black tie affair. So all I'm doing now is I am going to put a different Cassie on as a shirt. And then I have a Madison that I am going to slip on. Okay. So now I have on my black Cassie and I threw on a Madison and I mean I think that like this is stunning putting on a black pair of pumps a really funky pair of high-heeled dressy sandals um, and you can also which I you know I think gives it a little extra bump is I have a um, I have a little leather belt here um, my grandma had all these amazing, amazing belts in her closet that were just sitting there. So I kind of snagged a few. And I mean, something as simple as this, all I did was I added a little, um, a little leather belt. It was really just a simple belt that I just tied. And right here, this is something that I could totally wear to a black tie event. I could wear it to a cocktail hour. I could wear it, um, you know, anywhere that... I mean, honestly, I would probably wear this even on just a regular date night. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm not afraid to dress up. Um, but this is a way. I'm just wearing a Cassie as a shirt. And you can see that there are so many different ways that you can style it to take it from day to night. Um, and that's what I kind of wanted to show you is that the Cassie is not just a pencil skirt. And it's not just something made for work. You can wear it so many different ways. Um, so I am going to slip back into the regular... Um, the Cassie that I had on before and I'm going to show you some tricks. I'm going to stick a Gracie on and this that I'm going to show you is stuff that you could do with a classic as well. All right, so I'm now back to the original pencil skirt and I have on a Gracie. This is the Gracie in the size 14. I don't know if you can see someone's commenting. Oh, hi, Aunt Barbara. Um, okay, so here's the Gracie. I would totally wear it out just like this. Um, just an easy, super easy way to wear it. It's super comfortable. You know, there's nothing tight. It's just, you know, it just for running errands. I would even, you know, wear this to work if I um, went to an office. Super easy um, way to wear it. The other, th I, this is my favorite way, is I take the, pull the side up to the side and just do your side knot. And again, what I'm doing with the Gracie, you could totally do with the classic tee. Um, they're basically cut the same. This is just the kids version um, versus the classic, which is um, the adult version. So again, here it is tied up on the side. Super cute, super easy. I mean, and I am so comfortable. The Cassie is the most comfortable skirt ever. It's like wearing nothing. It is amazing. So again, this is just all I did was tied it up to a side and it's a totally different, um, totally different look. So now I'm going to show you if I was wearing this and I wanted to make it super casual, throw on a jean jacket. I have a really fun long necklace for just a little extra interest. And then if I was wearing this, I, I would throw on a pair. If it was summer, I'd throw on a pair of, um, sandals. Or as we're getting closer to winter, I have here, I would throw in a pair of um, chucks, you know, a fun pair of chucks. Or I love, I'm a big fan of like this, the van style shoes. If you do not have, you need to go get a pair for winter, for fall and winter, because they are a necessity. They are amazing with the leggings. They are amazing with the skirts. And it's just a good, easy thing to have in your closet and to slip on. So I have so many different pairs of these. 
these are like some really cool um like leather etched um sam edelman ones and then i'm a big fan of anim anything animal so these are some fur ones um so you can see how this takes the outfit super casual now if i was going out later that evening and i wanted to get a little bit dressed up just simply by changing my jewelry and here I have like a super edgy um, necklace. Just by switching out the jewelry and taking off that jean jacket, and instead of the jean jacket, I'm gonna throw on a moto jacket. If you do not have a nice moto jacket and a denim jacket in your closet, you need to get one because they are two wardrobe staples that you should always, always, always have in your closet. A good fitting jean jacket, and a good fitting moto jacket because you will always wear them through every season so again and if i was wearing this i would throw on a pair of cute little black booties just like these i don't know if you can see them and now i am dressed to go out for drinks out for dinner and it's the same outfit but i just styled it different with the accessories and this is something i want you guys to understand is that these pieces you can take from day to night from casual to dressy simply by changing out how you wear them and what you wear them with um i can see someone's commenting oh good morning so i am going to switch on to an irma and i'm going to show you different ways that you can wear the irma with your cassie so give me one second. Okay, here I have on the Irma. And if you haven't noticed, I'm clearly a black and white junkie. Um, I try to put color in my wardrobe and I always gravitate towards black and white. Um, okay, so here I have a black and white Irma. Again, I would totally wear it like this. Super comfortable. Um, it's cute. I love that it has the high-low. Um, and it's, you know, you again, wear this to work by putting on a pair of heels or a cute pair of boots. You could totally just put on a pair of chucks and you've dressed it down. And again, the accessories that you pair with it are gonna dictate whether you're going dressy or you're going casual. Um, you could also just add a belt. And again, just changes the look of it, makes it a little more dressy, um, gives it a, you know, a different feel. Um, but again, it's all about learning how to style your clothes and put them together in, in different ways. Um, you, again, could just like I did with the Gracie, super easy. Just do that side knot. Sorry, I keep looking at my cheat sheet because I have so many different ways and I don't want to forget. So again, you could just do something as simple as tying it up like this. And again, I think the Irma is a great piece just for tucking in as well. I think it lays nice. Um, cause it gives you just enough blasting on top. Um, and it's, you know, I like that it has the longer sleeves. So again, this is, um, the Irma with the Cassie and I brought in a Lindsay cause I want to show you how you can layer up some of your pieces. And obviously you can always throw a Sarah on. Um, she's a great piece just to have in your closet. Um, cause she really can go over anything. Um, so here I just threw on a Lindsay and you could wear it just, you know, simple, like this um, again you could take that belt and just by adding a belt it's going to give it a different give it a different feel um, so there's you know different ways just to even just adding on different pieces and, and everyone you should also have a belt in your closet a thin belt and a thick belt um, you could also take your front pieces of the Lindsay and tie it up and it's going to give it a different feel and this is one thing that I always love to do if you take the very ends of your Lindsay just the very ends you're going to tie a really super small knot that's what you're going to do but I'm now going to do that behind me so all you're going to do is take those tiny ends and you want it as close to the end as possible and as small as possible and now I got rid of those front tails because sometimes you don't want them always hanging down and you can see it lays really nice in the back um, and it almost it's just a different look a different feel and then I don't have more of my skirt in the front as opposed to the Lindsay so just a different way to wear it um, I can see people are commenting I'm sorry oh thank you Lisa yeah and I gotta tell you um, I 
I've always colored my hair funky colors for a really long time and I recently went pink probably like two months ago and I one of the big colors for fall um, is apparently rose gold um, and that's what my hair is turning into so I was kind of ahead of the trend without even knowing it um, so rose gold is another huge trend for um, for fall okay and then I did the tie up I did the tie behind okay so I have one last uh, piece that I'm gonna show you and I'm going to throw on, you know what, before I do that, um, I'm going to do it with this one. I have another Cassie here. Some of you probably already know this, but you could so wear her as a scarf. So here, if I just wanted to pop a color, all I did was I just threw that Cassie on, and now, um, and now it's a scarf. Um, so the last looks I'm going to show you is going to be with a perfect tee. So give me one second, and I'm going to throw on the perfect and I have a few ways to show you with that and I have a I, I think it's a unique way to wear the perfect for a different feel okay so here's the perfect I sometimes lo love the perfect with the Cassie because of it has that you can see it's that nice swing shirt it has that instant um, gives you the look of a peplum um, just on its own because of the way that the shirt is cut so if you really want to get that peplum look all you have to do is just throw on a fitted belt and now it's going to cinch in the waist and it's going to make this because you're having your fabric gather on the side it's just going to accentuate that and now you really are giving yourself that peplum um, style look if that's not you know not everyone's crazy about the peplum and this I'm sure you guys all know simply just tie up the sides it's going to give you a different look it's going to give you a different feel but it's a simple way to just change the style um, of the shirt simply by just tying it up. Um, okay, so now I'm going to get a little tricky on you. So these, I'm going to do the same thing in the front, um, and I'm going to also do it in the back and show you how um, you can get different looks. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to take, so you can see that we have a slit here on either side. So I am taking the front two pieces and I'm going behind my back and I'm going underneath this flap and all I'm doing is I am tying those two ends together. And just like I did with the Lindsay, you wanna tie as close to the ends as possible. So now you can see, I'm going to come a little closer so you can kind of see. I've almost created a ruching up here because of the way, and I'll lift it up so you can see. All I did was I tied it in the back. So now what I'm going to do is because I have this flap hanging, all I'm going to do is take it, and I'm going to tuck it into the back of my cassie. And when you do this, you're going to need to smooth it out um, so that you don't have lumps and bumps back there because nobody wants extra lumps and bumps on their bum. Okay, so now I'll turn around so you can kind of see what I did. And I like to blast it out a little bit and then I'm gonna pull this up and I want my knot to hit at the top of my Cassie so now I kind of created it's got a little fitted here but it's a it's still a little blousey um, and it's only tucked in in the back okay and so you can kind of play with this and layer it wherever you want and it just gives it a different look a different feel um, sometimes you just don't want that swing of that cat of uh, that perfect tee um, and you know sometimes you have it in a color that you want to wear but it's not the style you want so these are different ways to take the pieces that you have and wear them in different ways so now I'm gonna do the same thing and this is one of my favorite looks with the perfect tee so what I'm gonna do is I'm taking now the back tails here I'm taking the ends and underneath this front I am just tying them together and it really doesn't matter how you tie it because I will tell you once you get situated you're gonna retie it um, to get it to lay nice so again all I did was I took those back tails and you can see right here I tucked it I tied it right on the front so now I'm gonna take my fabric that's hanging here and I'm gonna put it through the hole okay and then just tuck it in and like you did with the in the back you're gonna just have to take the fabric and smooth it out because nobody wants lumps and bumps okay so now that I did that you're gonna take your knot which I tucked in and I have these like pieces hanging you're gonna pull them down over your hips like that 
And then this is when I will take my knot, I'm gonna tie it up, because I want it to cover up that waistband. I don't wanna see the waistband, see it peeking out? I don't wanna see that. So you're gonna retie it so that it hits at the top of that. And then you pull your sides, I'm gonna come closer so you can kind of see, I'm actually gonna lift this up so you can kind of see what I did here. So, I don't know if that helped you guys. But see, it gives it a different look. And you could pull it up higher if you want. You can pull this down lower. There you go. So it's just a different look, a different feel. Um, and I love how it sits in the back because it has, just like it had the ruching in the front before, now I have that ruching in the back, which everyone, ruching is always your friend because it's gonna hide things you don't want people to see um, or things that you're self-conscious about. Um, so anytime I can give myself ruching, I will. Um, so again, this is the perfect tee and it's just a different way to style it. Again, it's still blousey up here, so it's not form fitting, but I just fitted it around here to give myself a little more shape and to just style it different. Um, so, you know, these are just some different ways to wear the Cassie. And the, the point of today's video, um, not only just to show you different ways to wear the Cassie, but to show you how you, just by styling it differently, you can really take it from day to night, from casual to dressy. Um, you know, and one of my favorite looks that I've put together, um, since I, you know, started with LuLaRoe really was with the Madison and the Cassie. And you know what? No one would ever know that that top was a skirt. Um, so I hope you guys found today's video helpful. Um, and I hope you learned some new tips and tricks. Um, and stay tuned for next week. I know I said I was going to do the Carly, um, but we are kind of low on Carly's. And so I wanted to take some and show you different looks with, with bigger sizes, um, and we just didn't have the selection. So I'm going to have to wait till they um, come in to do that video. But I will hopefully see you guys all next week, and thanks for tuning in. Bye.